Streamer attempts to feed boyfriend at Waffle House. Oh, is this bad? I hope somebody walks by. Enjoy it. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping like an old lady was going to walk by and she'd be like, what the hell's wrong with you? As an anime man, I'm sh she's making a joke. Like, she's obviously joking. You guys really don't think she's joking? Sanest Waffles customer. Four-time League of Legends, world's finalist ends a stream. <laughs> Did he just shut down his computer? Shutting down your computer is such a funny way to end stream. You're literally, yeah, it's like you're literally alt f 4 your whole PC, dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I, I just, I just needed a few days off to kind of like reset or whatever. I'm going to take a few days off probably before the subathon too. So subathon is going to be September 17th, uh, or February, <laughs> February 17th. Canute getting called out by his daughter. But dad, you spend too much money. <laughs> yeah, but I'll rather uh, <laughs> fucking skits. I heard that. You know what? <laughs> you said. I didn't say anything. Bad word. No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> You're telling me I'm dumb. No. Aren't you? That I just heard something that didn't happen. <laughs> Man, this clip is so funny, dude. Uh, Mason, how good are English is considering your age? Can you truly just build differently? Yeah, it's because everybody there speaks American, right? Uh, Cook sucks, rides the motorcycle. Okay. Um, okay. After the Texans lost to the Ravens in the playoffs after being prompted to roll a local reporter lose them to the coach. This is a Super Bowl caliber team, okay? We're close. We're close. We have some holes that we got to fill. Coach, we have basically no pass rush. You know, I've tolerated a lot from you. Moving the team from Houston to Austin against my suggestion. Refusing to change quarterback. Refusing to draft receivers. Today, however, was my final straw. I've had enough, you son of a bitch. Do you hear me? I've had enough. I've been a Houston native all my life. I love this team and you've disgraced them. Fuck you, coach. Fun. You. Look. Honestly, this team didn't deserve to win a Super Bowl. With that kind of miserable pass rush, absolutely horrible, miserable pass rush that we have, no. Yeah, we absolutely did not deserve to, to, to win the Super Bowl. This team is not there. I, I like watching, a lot of times I like watching my own clips on these. Because uh, I'm, I have a massive ego. No, the reason why I like watching my own clips a lot of times is that I like listening to the audio. Because if I like, I, I've stopped using a lav mic and I started using that mic over there. I like how this sounds way more. This, so have you ever actually watched a press conference? The audio, like it sounds like you're in an empty room. Like this sounds so much like more realistic. Listen, we're close. We're close. We have some holes that we gotta fill. Coach, we have basically no balls. pass rush. You know. I've tolerated a lot. Even the reverb from the dono sound, because it's close to the speaker, it's so good. Let's take a look at my subreddit. This is how it feels when chat talks to you. Have you ever walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized you'd forgotten where you parked your car? Ever gone mountain biking? What do you want to be when you grow up? What's the right tip? You called a plumber to your home lately? How superstitious are you? How much money would it take to make you spend a night in a cemetery? Would you display this as a trophy? Do you have a pet? Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you believe in the power of a curse? Have you had your hearing tested lately? Planning a trip soon? 
Can you remember the tallest man you've ever seen? Do you love to go a wandering beneath a clear blue sky? Have you noticed what big <laughs> stars real estate agents have become? <laughs> Are you careful with your personal records? Does your computer ever seem to have a mind of its own? Have you ever visited a chat account? <laughs> I'm going to just, you know what? I'm telling you right now, I'm going to memorize all these and I'm just going to start asking these questions. Major city. Have you ever visited a flea market? Have you ever visited a truck stop? Did you ever have a job as a waiter? Have you noticed how many successful restaurants are theme based these days? Have you ever had the desire to write your initials in wet cement? <laughs> is this is this yeah what is this from an all new millennium friday at nine eight central on fox parental discretion advised now it's time to review tonight's stories to determine which of them were inspired by actual events and which of them were totally false let's start with the tale of the parents who discover their teenage son has been hiding <laughs> i don't know why this is so interesting to me swears in jars. I found this under his bed. Shit. What? I just... Where did he learn such a thing? I'll take care of it. This is fake? Where did he learn such a thing? <laughs> Could jars really hold profanities inside of them? Or are we just basically? It's true. It really happened. <laughs> Dude, that caught me so off guard. That was so funny. What about the man who accidentally enclosed his own hand inside of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Could that have really happened? Yeah, five points! Woo! Help! If you thought this one was based on actual events, we got gotcha. you. The boys in the writer's room fluffed this story up. <laughs> How about the seemingly ordinary digital clock, whose interface just happened to read one, two, three, and four? Did we make this one up? Yep, a complete fake. It's impossible. What did you make of the tale of the mailman who was attacked by his own mail? <laughs> did we deliver the truth? <laughs> it's true. Similar events happened in Florida just last week. That's so funny. <laughs> what about the tale of the automobile that had a license plate that read, ass? It's videos. <laughs> Ass. But Ass died five years ago. <laughs> what do you think? Did this one really it, it so funny. Not this time. How about that? This, this, this video is amazing. This video is actually what about the story amazing. Of the multi-millionaire who brought dinosaurs back from extinction using cloning technology. Was that true? Or a cold-blooded fabrication? Could this one have really happened? It's true. A similar <laughs> event occurred. I saw it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Let's look back at the careless gravedigger who was followed home by a vengeful skeleton. Actually, that actually kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Was that real? Or were we barking up the wrong tree? False. 
It's bullshit. Do you remember the tale of the Toad Man from back in 1984? He ate everyone in his village in the Ukraine. He spit out their bones, and those bones grew boils and warts and grew into toads themselves. Do you remember? Of course you do. It was all over the news. Big story. And what about the television show host who was caught printing out pornography at a local public library last summer? Did that one really happen? Hey, dude, I picked, <laughs> I picked a bad time to, what a bad idea. Sir, we've talked about this. <laughs> Did that really happen? Not in your life. It's a fake. Total fiction. It didn't happen. <laughs> Not fact. 